What is going on my friends? Welcome back to another FIFA 23 Custom Tactics Replication video. If you're new to the channel, welcome along. I'm Ash or Brahma18, whichever you prefer. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notifications every time I upload. In this video, we are continuing our Tactics Replication series with none other than another Pep Guardiola video. In particular, we want to have a look at his Bayern Munich system, his 4-3-3 system um in particular so i'll go through the formation and position changes then we'll talk about the custom tactics and then we'll round off with the player instructions with that being said let's get into it so first things first let's talk about the positioning well you want this 4-3-3 holding first and foremost that's how you're going to get the basis of the system itself then you are going to notice that we do make a couple of position changes one, well, you'll notice aesthetically we have these fullbacks tucked in a bit more, but they are still right and left back. Now, in this system, he did have that kind of double inverted fullback, and that's really where we saw it kind of come to its forefront in the kind of Pep Guardiola system. Now, I want to put a theory to bed here very quickly, because this comes up in a fair few of my videos, and it's something that's come up in the Discord server as well. Now, the kind of idea of this inverted fullback, people kind of speculate whether or not if you have these guys as left and right defensive midfielders, whether that creates an inverted fullback. Now, the answer is no. It doesn't. It really does not work. You're going to get exploited um, to no end, basically, uh, down the wide areas. So, it doesn't work. Or oh, It's very hard to replicate inverted fullbacks accurately in this game. And so, unfortunately, we have to kind of do the utmost that we can. Um, even having these kind of tucked in, it doesn't make any difference either that's another tactics theory that i'll put to bed right now um and so with that in mind you just kind of got to bear it really with regards to these guys in midfield we've actually got them at left and right attack midfield and what this does is it helps to replicate that three two five formation that you would see or the shape that you would see them really take when they have possession in the opposition's half and so it does a really good job particularly with the likes of muller as well someone who He's going to obviously rotate between those kind of wide areas and that kind of attacking midfield position uh, as well. So with the tactical instructions, starting off with defensive style, we have got press after possession loss, giving you that counter pressing system. Uh, and then with the width, we have this on 20. Very compact, very narrow, and a really great way for you to kind of limit that uh, kind of space in between each vertical line. Um, so the opposition can't really play through you and they've got to really be forced out wide. And the depth is on 80, giving you a very, very high uh, block as well. A good time to really say if you are interested in this tactic, you want to see how it ranks and reps compared to all of my other systems on the channel, as well as uh, suitable teams to play as, strengths and weaknesses, and a whole lot more exclusive tactics videos, then go and check out my Patreon. The link to that is down below. You can get access, obviously, to that FIFA 23 tactics package. Exclusive tactics videos like Eagle Tudor's Marseille, Javi Alonso's Bayer Leverkusen, we've got Andrew Postacoglu Celtic, Michael Carrick's Middlesbrough, and a whole range more of systems that you guys will really enjoy, as well as Discord server access, Fantasy League access, behind the scenes videos, early access, and a whole lot more. Do go and check that out. The links are down below. With regards to the offensive phase of play then we have it on slow build up and also chance creation on possession. Now that one, very, very obvious, so you don't really need me to talk any more about that kind of Guardiola setup. The offensive width is on one, something we have never, ever, ever done in any of these tactics videos before now. The reason why we did this is just a desperate attempt, really, to try and get these fullbacks as inverted as we possibly could. Worked not brilliantly, but certainly better than what it would have been if it was on 20. You are, of course, might be worried about kind of the wingers and how they're going to create the width. And we are going to do that in the player instructions. Uh, players in the box, again, on six, something that's becoming a bit of a regular occurrence these days. But it, it is really kind of a principle that he's holding up amongst all of these recent tactics that we've covered. You're really going to get about four players going into the box. And it's generally going to be uh, that attacking three and also the likes of, of Thomas Muller as well. Corners of free kicks, both of these are on four so starting off with the player instructions then with the goalkeeper Manuel Neuer we've got him on comes to crosses and sweeper keeper kind of the quintessential sweeper keeper really who did of course kind of romanticize it in that 2014 world cup for Germany and, and really kind of followed it through as well with the two center backs we've got Upper Meccano and Hernandez in this case no need to change anything so you can keep them absolutely the same 
And then with these two fullbacks, as we've already spoken about to death, so we're not going to go through too much with them. Um, but you do have these guys on join the attack, but then their run top is on inverted. Again, not very accurate, not the best way to replicate it, or the, it is the best way to replicate it, but it won't be done effectively. Unfortunately, it's just not something that we can do in this game. Now with Joshua Kimmich, in this case at defensive midfield, we've got him on cut passing lanes and also attacking support to stay back whilst attacking. It is, of course, a lane orientated press, a zonally orientated press is something that we do kind of mention in these videos and then naturally with his attacking support he is going to be that kind of anchor man but he's also going to help to kind of form that free i guess with these two inverted fullbacks which in this case is obviously davis and uh Jao cancello uh, defensive position is cover center and his position freedom is deep lying playmaker and does a really good job of helping you to kind of progress the ball out from the defense uh, because he's of course going to pick up all these kind of deeper pockets of space now, with the two attacking midfielders, we'll start off with Musiala, who's playing that kind of Thiago role. Now, you might feel that how do we kind of replicate that more roaming playmaker who's a little bit deeper than Thomas Muller. Now, when I previously uh, covered this tactic in what I think it was FIFA 21, so a couple of years ago now, we had him as central midfielder. This time, I've made the tweak to move him up to camp, and the way that we're going to replicate this is by having him on free roam. What that's going to do is it means that whilst he is going to occasionally pick up those advanced areas, he's also often going to be kind of dropping off into pockets of space and he's really going to rotate into a whole range of different positions. And it's a really good way of replicating the likes of someone um, such as Thiago in which, yes, he will occasionally get into those advanced areas, but he's also going to look to drop deeper in order to progress the ball and pick it up from deeper positions. We've also got his defense support on comeback on defense to make sure he is tracking back and his support crosses have changed that just. It should be on stay on the edge of the box for the cross. Now, with Thomas Muller over on the other side, replicating that, well, Thomas Muller role, we've got him on comeback on defense. Again, he's going to be tracking back and also support on crosses. He's getting to the box for the cross. Now, his positioning freedom is on drift wide, and this is a really good way to replicate his system because, as we know, he would often come out wide. Sometimes he'd, po he'd be positioned out wide and kind of play that kind of false hybrid winger role in which he'd come inside a whole lot and really add that kind of mismatch option with that numerical advantage. And that's what you're looking to do here. He's going to drift around, I guess, fairly similar to what someone like Kevin De Bruyne does uh, for Man City currently in that Guardiola system, except this time... He's really kind of acting as that all-rounded attacking player because he's also going to get into the box a whole lot more as well and look to kind of support the striker uh, of Lewandowski. With the two wingers then, these guys are the ones who are going to be stretching the play, stretching the opposition and creating that width. Um, and so we've got both of these guys on comeback on defence to get them tracking back. But chance creation stay wide and that is the most important thing, something that you're obviously seeing as well kind of from Guardiola these days on top of that support runs are on getting behind to get them penetrating that back line with their runs in behind and then support on crosses is getting to the box for the cross and it is the same for both of them on top of that with Mane playing that central striker role in this case his support runs are on stay central and his attacking runs this time are mixed attack and remember that this would have been kind of that Lewandowski role in this case in which you are obviously looking for a player who isn't constantly looking to kind of penetrate the back line with his runs, but instead will look to sometimes hold it up. They can play off him, the likes of Muller, etc., really getting in and around him. And it just looks to kind of complement that very, very well. And finally, his defense support is on stay forward. Now, with that being said, we're just about ready to round it off there. If you've got any questions about this system, don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to see how it ranks and rates compared to all of my other systems, then you can, of course, check out my FIFA 23 custom tactics package on my Patreon. The link to that is down below. Don't forget to check out all of the other playlists and series that we have going on the channel. Lots of tactics replication videos, tactics tutorial videos, lots of FIFA 23 shorts as well, and a whole lot more. So do go and check them out. On that note, we're going to round it off there. Subscribe to the channel, ring the bell to get notifications every time I upload. And until the next one, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon.